Team comes right now from South Stroud this morning. And Brandon, the extension that most people won't be able to go back to work for at least another month. And of course, we know the number of unemployment filings here in North Carolina is up and it's skyrocketing. And we got to say, you know, this Wednesday, rent is due, mortgage is due. Um, a lot of folks are going to have to start paying bills here in just the next couple of days. That's right, Ben, and especially a lot of unemployment claims. Actually, one gentleman behind me who has been here an hour and a half early before the place opens just because of concerns about long lines when it comes to unemployment claims and checks. Governor Roy Cooper says an unprecedented number of people filed unemployment insurance claims. 270,000 just in the last two weeks, most of them COVID-19 related. That's a 3,500% spike from the start of the month. Governor Cooper says, quote, thousands of workers have lost jobs, but their bills don't stop. My administration is working overtime to get unemployment checks out now. People will also see an additional $600 in unemployment benefits after President Trump signed that $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill. Workers must answer a series of questions online every week to get their checks. Those questions determine whether a person is eligible for a payment. And thank you so much to Willie Randall out here as he was waiting, just literally pulled up and he was concerned about the long lines because so many of those unemployment claims. We have more information about those claims online at WCNC.com. Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. But I'm, I'm glad you're, you're showing us him and, and his story coming up later because he is like so many people out there. All right, Brandon, thank you.